location, where you live, the power of location is really important. And I know guys, uh, luckily, are watching me all over the world, big cities, small towns, different countries. And uh, you guys range in age and, and uh, income and everything. But it really is true that location matters. And I have found it to be true, so true in my life. In fact, when I first moved uh, from a suburb to the big city of New York, I actually lived uh, across the water in Jersey City, which is a cool place. And uh, it was there because I could afford it. And, uh, you know, I was flopped out in a room with my college roommate and somebody else. And uh, we made it happen. I was going at it as an actor. But, uh, and I had a lot of fun because that was a good location. But one day I met a guy, a fellow actor, who was a bit older than me and more experienced and really cool dude. And he said to me, you got to get into this. You got to get into the city. The energy here is different. When you walk outside, you can feel the energy and everything starts happening around you. And literally, from my window in Jersey City, I actually could see New York. I mean, I was, for all intents and purposes, in the city. So, but one day an opportunity opened up. Uh, another actor friend said, hey, I'm moving out of my place in the back of this hoarder's lair. And, uh, and I, and I went and looked at the room, and it was a big downsize in space. And the room, but it was a nice little room, and it was inside of the eight, eight other rooms that were filled with garbage, and I had my nice room. And uh, I moved in. I made the choice. And I downsized from a three-bedroom deal in Jersey City to this one room in that, because I could, for the basic, for even more money. And the day that I moved in there was the day that my life made a big shift. The, the energy on that island, on that rock, was so palpable. And when I was walking down the street, the, the interesting people that were around me of all colors and uh, educations and walks of life and body shapes and sizes and the beautiful women that were in my midst, it was unbelievable. And it was, the, the energy was palpable, you can cut it. And the energy to this day is. And then, of course, I lived there for a long time. Then I moved downtown Manhattan. And then it was even more, more uh, intense and more ex uh, experiences. Location matters. And you really need to do what you can to live in the right place. Whatever the sacrifice is. Like, I sacrificed doubling my rent for one-third the size. And then my life became greater and greater and greater. You really need to make that sacrifice and you need to make the move because if you want if you are a single guy and all your and your whole thing is swipe dating that sucks and if you're living out in a place where there is no people that doesn't work so find a, a great place to live that you feel great about and then you can easily connect in with other people and when you go on vacation say for example if you go to Paris don't go 20 minutes outside in a Holiday Inn because it's cheaper. Go to the coolest part where the coolest people are and go to work. So when you walk out your door, you're banging into them. All right, I uh, hope that really helps you make a decision because this is just information. Like everything I share here is just information. Unless you're taking action. Unless it really absorbs and makes you pull the trigger. All right, guys, bye.